introduced is the, our the, uh, previous work, also is the joined with the, our current work. Later is in the future work, I will introduce a little bit. Uh, this is talk, we talk about the perpetual American style, the optimal investment with the non-smooth utility. So that means is that we consider what infinite time horizon, the investment science. Then is also the key point, another key point is that non-smooth uh, non utility. So now let's uh, introduce for this one. Okay, so first let me the introduce is the uh, two co-author. The first co-author is the uh, Xiao San uh, Chen, Second is the Fa Huayi. Fa Huayi also is, uh, I think maybe the Gerton actually is the noticed uh, Professor E. The Xiao San Chen actually the Professor E's the student, uh, maybe a few years ago, we together consider for this work, then the step by step. Uh, our key this work is the fundamental idea is what is maybe corresponding to non-smooth utility, uh, also corresponding to infinite time horizon, how to seek for its optimal stopping the free boundary for this point. Uh, we originally submit all this work. Maybe is uh, every time is a return. The review, the guy also asked us maybe the make progress a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So our today maybe you will see all the result actually corresponding to the review. Ask us to is a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Finally, we get is all the free boundary point. I think it's for this one is the the submission and the reviewing the procedure. I think a very interesting. So combine all this the work. OK, now first let's introduce a little bit the actual literature is the review and the second is first of the formulation, then is our the tackling the method. Also, finally, uh, we have a little bit of extension. Once this is the portfolio, also is the no shorting, how to console. And uh, together we a little bit introduce our current work. Now, this work actually fundamental is the utility. We dependent on is the carpenter, Jennifer Carpenter's work. Uh, this published under the uh, Journal of the Finance. Next page, I will introduce for this the utility, the fundamental the style. Uh, in the previous, uh, together with the, the Professor Xun Yu Zhou and the, the Professor Lin, we work on is the dynamic and invariance, the portfolio with the no shorting the constraint. Uh, in the previous, we consider this work using the uh, viscosity solution. Today, we also will consider this similar work. We introduce a little bit actually is the maybe the new simplify the method reconsider is the no shorting constraint actually involve our today the topic not is the invariance then how to consider that no shorting constraint another one is that uh, we will introduce a little bit is the actual optimal stopping idea from is that uh, my previous work together with professor xun yu zhou's is that uh, invariance work how to consider 80 percentage lower this work another one is uh, for is the uh, my course is uh, uh, and my student is the uh, Wen Xingzhou. We together consider similar work on the finite time horizon. Uh, published on this one is the uh, sign control and the financial mathematics. Originally, I want to introduce for this work. Finally, I find out my this work together with the two of this work actually is the Focus on lots of PDE work and a lot of the spaces. I'm not sure. Maybe over the current of the for me. So then I reconsider is consider is infinite time horizon that model. Now current today I will introduce for this model. Another one is that we uh, current we consider how to let the, for this model go ahead. Maybe consider with the borrowing constraint. Recently, this did the Juno actually accept all this work. Uh, with the borrowing the constraint, a little bit of constraint for this information. Now, let's look at for this one. The fundamental economic setting, I think, oh, guy actually very familiar with for this one. One is the bound, another is the we have an asset, okay, and also the standard Brownian motion and dimension Brownian motion, also is the non degeneracy the cons uh, condition. So, very, very is the standard. So, also the portfolio we introduce for this portfolio. Both share, then we cut the stock in the portfolio part. For this portfolio part, then we using our current is the where's minus the risk part. So we uh, remaining part put into the bound for this part. Then we have the self the uh, where's equation. So we write down for this the simple the, this equation. This is a very standard or the loss of the guy. Also mu is the drift and the sigma is the volatility. 
So just now, uh, we introduced first that reviewing the paper is the Carp Jennifer Carpenter's paper. Jennifer Carpenter's paper considered is a non, uh, without the stopping, just the finite case considered for this model. Then Jennifer Carpenter can use the Martin Gear methodology to solve that the solve that uh, hold the the question and the problem in the journal of the finance. Uh, here's the model is for this one is the, the K is the fixed salary. K is the fixed salary. Then is the, the alpha the insensitive the, the uh, factor. So what is for this part? This part maybe is the similar to the option X tall minus B. In her model, actually X capital T minus B. This means is the benefit. This is corresponding to the, the award part. Maybe accept your the, the salary. Once you work the final the actual worth amount is the beyond the, the benchmark. So the company will give you what additional the uh, award the uh, payment part. So maybe this is a corresponding to the manage corresponding to this the manager work uh, considered for this the utility. Except this the utility, you will see we have the, the discount factor for this model actually corresponding to we add for this the explanation negative the beta tau because we currently consider uh, this model is the infinite time horizon. Uh, different is the originally is the Jennifer Carpenter's model utilities for this case. Also, Jennifer Carpenter takes the utility for this model is very general, except the log model, uh, power model. Uh, she also is directly considered as a utility function similar to this case. Today, we also based on his the, the very complex to the utility that this style. Go ahead. Once we directly consider x power function, a log function, exponential, general exponential function, maybe that work is the easy. Our current this work a little bit different than Jennifer Carpenter, the fundamental idea at this moment I should distinguish. Jennifer Carpenter model actually is by um, United States law corresponding to manager set this model. Here we have a little bit may not is meet all this the law because now currently we said we consider for this model is the infinite time price. OK, maybe generally we set the contract finite. This is one case. Another case is we now consider the stopping. We just borrow his model, consider stopping case, consider a little bit how to solving the similar is the utility idea may not make sense, may not does may, may not may, may not is that make sense. Uh, does not make sense is that lots of the law the policy. OK, why? Because we say we optimal is the. Uh, leading for this the market, so we just for this model, not very, very is the uh, fixed for the real the financial market. We just borrow this model, consider our a little bit for this the analysis and work. OK, so you want to the once you have any idea, you want to go ahead by the law, consider lots of the, the maybe the more general and the practical, the real the model. Maybe you should and uh, revise or today current the consider for this information. Today, maybe our interesting is how to see for you is the free boundary for this point. <laughs> Not is for you the practical for the. OK, corresponding to the tedious the uh, maybe it's the very complex the utility, the non-convex model. Let's go ahead. First one. First off, we using the uh, apply the dynamic the principle, the dynamical, because currently we said our model, the coefficient is deterministic, also is constant. So we can direct using our current is the, the for this is the Hamid Jacobi Behrman uh, equation, direct using. So this is a very, I think, is a old guy maybe and a standard. Just is a little bit different is for this one utility. Is a little bit different than previous, very special utility. Otherwise, maybe here is x power, x gamma, exponential, log. Except this, or for here, this is the equation part actually very is a standard, very standard. So, but corresponding to for this the question is the two. We set us for this question too. We conjecture exists a free boundary is what x star. This x star corresponding to analysis we know is actually is a greater than is the what actually the benchmark 
current our benchmark is what? Once it's exit what below the benchmark, so always uh, we originally talk for this part is equal to the zero. So you just get what fixed salary for the generally for the, the much more payment, much more um, is the final is the all this information what get to is the award. So one is such is a free boundary point actual gradient is the benchmark. This company set the benchmark. So corresponding to this, so we know maybe it exit below is the free boundary we take for this the uh, we take for this information maybe is a VX greater than for this data. Uh, maybe the payoff for this information. Once is the X below uh, the for this one is the free boundary part is a less than for this X is less than for this. Maybe it's just greater than is the benchmark. We know maybe actually just the meet is for payment for this function. So now let's go ahead. Coming to this structure for this one, just now we have the what? One is the within is the zero, x is between zero and the free boundary. Also, the free boundary lesson for this. So we separate just now, we mentioned the equation two, transfer to equation the for this the problem from problem two to problem three. This is standard. Also, we conjecture at this moment. Finally, we can prove our the first thought, the gradient zero and the Second order with respect to X is less than the zero. So anyway, at this moment, actually we want to the con conjecture the for this one is the structure is the concave for this model. Then we can hold, then we can go ahead. Once this is the really actually though, we conjecture the structure is the increasing and the structure concave for this model. So for this one, the question three, we may conjecture and the first one is a, take the maximize is a pi. So we have for this information the pi the star. For this pi star, we take what is the optimal the portfolio. So now we put this optimal portfolio, go back to the problem three. So we can reduce to problem three equivalent to this one. Also, we set this theta is the what? Mu over the sigma, not mu over sigma. Now at this moment is the uh, matrix inverse with the mu because color that we may not consider is the one dimension. I'm so sorry. OK, anyway, so for this one is the vector, so we take the norm. The norm is the theta transform is the with the theta actually for this norm. So now we can reduce for this coefficient. So this one is how to get actually the pi star put back to for this equation. The first equation we can reduce the first equation to is for the, the theta star is the for reduce for this single data structure. Now is fully what without is the portfolio part, without optimization is the control part. Just is what we have. This equation is the nonlinear ODE equation. Okay, nonlinear ODE, nonlinear ODE equation. Also with the what very very is the, the I may mean, not easily to solve the, the boundary. So also for here involved a free boundary. So now we consider how to solve for this free boundary. First one. First one, what I, what I want to discuss because uh, beginning we want to direct use the dual method to direct solve, but we did not the separate consider is what k and w equal to zero, uh, b greater than zero. Another case is the k w b always equal to zero. So finally, review ask us separate for this one. Then you finally you consider is the dual part k is not equal to zero, except for the k is a special case. Ask us uh, have any the spatial the structure and others corresponding to the review that uh, request the question. We answer the as four years we take the dual method. We first consider is what for this the birth is the spatial cases. The case one and the case two. For the case one and whatever case one, case two, we first set is the spatial is the function. The spatial function corresponding to payoff we set. This is the fx corresponding to fx for this function. Now this is the function is the with respect to is the in the x. So then we consider first one is the uh, case one. For case w, k and w equal to zero. So x what? Then is the B. So this one equal to zero. Also, we know it's the first order. 
and the F0 and it's first order equal to zero. And so finally, we have the V0 equal to zero. So we have the what? It's a general the solution corresponding to current system setting. So this is the solution is what? Vx and the Cx power. Then is the first analysis. First analysis, we put this one into our the equation, uh, equation that are four. Then we uh, uh, read the uh, analysis we have for this one equation. Then corresponding to this equation, we set the two cases. For this year, amount is the times the C equal to zero. So one C is what? Uh, for this part, first part equal to zero. So we have, yes, we can reduce. Just now we talk about for this information, we can reduce to for this structure. So then we can what? We can get X star. This X star is, we already want to talk about the free boundary information. Actually, now current means what? Infinity. So this is the no free boundary. So this is the ask to the answer, uh, the special case. Another one, the first part is not equal to zero. So C just equal to zero. So Vx is uh, equal to zero. So this is another the solution for actual original. We want to talk the question, the problem for. So this is case one. Now let's look at the case two. Case two is always equal to the zero, what happened? So first one, of course, zero is the equal to zero. So then F zero is the first thought goes to the infinity. Also, fx is the concave function at this moment, maybe with respect to the x. Then we consider first order and second order for this information. Also, we put this fx, go back to years just now, we discussed the equation, uh, problem for the equation. So then we also have the separate two part. Okay, the finally for this one. Okay, finally for this one. Then we have the what? Two part. Also, is consider one part the greater than equal to zero and the less than zero. For this first case, we find out actually that for this pair of the optimal is what the beginning should you don't do any investment. OK, so this is a review. The second time review also ask us make up the second information. So then we answer the review. Also today I introduced to you all this talk. So another one is the less than is the zero. Less than zero is case is what happens to the reduce to the problem four to this one. So actually the what? We have our original question is that has no the solution. So except for this issue that discuss. So now let's go to the general case. This is the um, if you ask us, then you directly consider is what? Maybe salary is not equal to zero. The fixed salary part not equal to zero. K is greater than zero. Then go on consider is the problem is the four. Now let's briefly review it our pre problem four. What is our problem? This is our problem for problem for just the what remove is the portfolio part we consider is the nonlinear uh, equation, nonlinear ODE equation with this free boundary. OK, so now we want to solve for the k is greater than zero. So how to solve? Uh, we have done. We cannot use the directory is the uh, corresponding to with respect to X for this variable director. solve. so we introduce is the dual method to solve for this one. So this is originally is the value function. So it is a dual function. Dual function corresponding to the Lagrangian part is a y actually corresponding to for this the x function, uh, vx function actually Lagrangian multiplier actually. OK, so using for this Lagrangian multiplier, y constructed the dual the function v of y. Also x is for what? Also this x also corresponding to the y function is another Lagrangian Part. OK, this is the same. OK, so why we call it the dual? So for this, the dual master for the problem four. Also, we know for this Lagrangian multiple y actually within for this the region. OK, otherwise, uh, maybe is a uh, maybe actually out of for this the score. So now is that we first we set finally we can prove this one actually equivalent to is the what is the y the function express. Then we know this is a less than zero. At this moment, we also the conjecture for the second order is the less than zero. So also we have the critical the value is x y. Then, so we know this critical the value actually the what we for this one take the first order with uh with respect to the x. Okay, for this optimization function v x minus x y, x greater than the x greater than the zero for this information. So. Now we take the what? Take the first order. 
So corresponding to this first order is X. OK, X uh, critical value X star. So now we put what this first order X Y equal to what the first order equal to the Y. So we get for this the equation. OK, this first order. So also we consider for this the inverse. This is the first order of X. The inverse we write on the identity identical to of Y. Uh, this inverse function first of corresponding first order we consider identical to the inverse function. Not is the V function directly consider inverse function. V function is first order consider inverse. OK, I think uh, uh, lots of the X at this moment, the export I know uh, they know this one. So I just introduced the dual function. Then we know corresponding dual function we have for this uh, relationship. Then we go quickly go ahead. OK, also corresponding dual function with what? With the respect to Y we take first order, then we reduce to for this one. With Y, go and take the first order with this one. OK, we have the second order. Second order actually the what? Reduce to the for this information. At this moment, because we may not know is for this one second order for the what's information, we just know i of y equal to the what equal to the x i equal to y. This one the i of y equal to the x. Okay, i of y equal to x. Okay, so now is what we set is that this is a conjecture. This is less than zero. So this is the what you can write on i of y x write on i of y. So for here. V for capital V, the second order, I of Y. So this one is what? Less than zero, but this one negative, so this greater than zero. So now we know. Uh, once we have for this, the conjecture is the second order is the less than zero with respect to the X. So we know for the Y, this part is greater than zero. So this is just the what? Uh, just now we consider corresponding to the X is what? Is concave function, but for this one is strictly the convex function. Okay. Also, we know this. X goes to infinity. We know for this the Y the region. Okay, Y the region. So just now is what? Just now we say this is your capital of the V, uh, v capital V of X. We using the for this Lagrangian like multiple express of the VY function. So once you really suppose you find you can solve VY function. So how to go back to the re express is VX function. So VX function with the VY function relationship is what? Plus x y, just now is what? Now is y is a variable, so x actually is a Lagrangian multiplier, I think. So this is a Lagrangian multiplier is the now we current we know is the y the region. Okay, this is y the region. So x is what? Just greater than zero, corresponding to our original our setting, the fundamental the question. So also corresponding to for this one, we also take the first order. We know what is the critical. Critical is the y of x, y with x, okay? Y with x, actually corresponding to this one with respect to y, take the first order. With respect to y, take first order. So this equal to what? Negative x, equal to negative x, first order. So this is uh, another critical corresponding to small is the v of y, this function, we also consider for this. So now also we set in what? i of y, we know this x, so this is a, uh, actually mean is what? Y inverse of the X actually equal to what? Equal to that. Just now we mentioned that uh, capital X that is uh, V capital X first order of X. So corresponding to this order relationship, what this is the maybe achieve to that same. Okay, achieve to this one the maximum. Achieve to this one maximum. So you take out for the minimum. Actually you uh, put the Critical point this optimal solution. Okay, so equal to the x. So the x you can express. Finally, once you get to the the y x y critical point. Okay, y critical point. Maybe the y star. Okay, the critical point. Maybe the y hat for the optimal solution. We can using another uh, another notation express. So once for this one you take the optimal. So actually mean you what you can express the the x. Okay. Just as is the go back to is the equation four. Equ equation four is just now we consider what we consider for this one. Now let's go record is the equation. Equation four is what v capital X the first odd second odd. Okay, without y. Now we fully change it to what y space. Okay, using just now we discussed is the relationship. This is 
information. So our problem four, we can re-express the following star, following star, the y square, and also for using for this one. Also, we know the capital V and the for the small v, we have the relationship. Using for this, the, just now we discussed the relationship. We go on reduce, reduce to what? Reduce to the smaller v for this star. Now, the reduce to this one. Just now, beginning is what? Beginning, we consider problem four with respect to the x for this the function we talk about is what is the nonlinear function. Now we reduce to for this the new function. This new function is the v function. So this uh, v small this function. Also the variable is y. We have for this what this is the linear function. So why we using a dual? From the original uh, space, we now reduce to for the dual for this the space. We get the uh, linear the equation. So using this linear equation solve the problem. Once we we are not considered is the uh, optimal stopping. We just consider for this linear the equation to consider general lots of the model that is easy. But here, although we reduce to this for this one the linear the equation, but now we get for the what the new the problem. We solve the old problem, but the produce to the new problem. New problem here. You how to is the fix your the. Uh, optimal the stopping the free boundary for the, the point. Just now we say the free boundary point is the x star. Now this x star transfer to y star. So how to fix, how to figure out how to solve this y star? OK, so we want to solve this y star. We should go back to consider our original the equation. Just now we have original all this one equation. Reduce all this equation. The first we should. So using this the one idea, so we first wonder why zero. I y zero equal to the zero. This one is what? Because I of y is what? I of y at the beginning we consider for this one. Okay. For this one is the the y that is is the what? Consider is the, the zero. Okay. The first odd. Okay, first odd. So now we said now we know this one equal to the consider it's the definition we know is this one is the equal to zero. But not is the y, y zero equal to zero. This one it's the for this the inverse function equal to zero. Okay. Once the, for this in, inverse function part equal to zero, so we can using for this idea first reduce. Just now we mentioned that boundary part. So v zero, v zero is uh, actually you can write on i y zero. Okay, i y zero because this is v zero. So we put it i y zero. So then you go on you. Capital V corresponding to I for this information. You can write down what just now we mentioned the structure. Just now we mentioned the structure is here. Just now we mentioned the structure. OK, for this one. This uh, X using I Y for the every each one you change. OK, change it to this one. But this one is what just the Y. I is dependent on the Y zero. Now we know this for this one Y zero is what equal to is the zero. So further reduced to the original capital V0 equal to the VY0, the first one, the first one. Another one is at the X0 is actually V of capital X, X0 is equal to the UK. We know this is the VY0 equal to the actually the UK. Also, just now we consider this one is the first one equal to the zero. OK, now we have what two is the boundary. Uh, help us to fix what is the y zero. At this moment, we, we don't know what is the y zero is amount. Actually, is unknown is amount. Finally, we should solve for this one. So this is just consider is the y zero. Another one is what x star. So for x star, is transferred to the y star. So how to figure out y star? If we want to figure out y star, we should go back to using just now. We talk about is the for this equation seven. Go back. For this one, to consider y star for this information. Also, using just now we mentioned the relation the idea. So we have for this one is x equal to x star. Okay, equal to the v y that the, the first order the negative is x. This one is just now we know v y the first order equal to negative is x. Now we write down the negative v y equal to the x. So this x star. So now we know. This x star we can transfer to what? Y star, how to express for this one. The first information. So y at the y star 
<coughs> WASTA, we first one corresponding to it. Just now we mentioned equation seven is the second uh, function. So we have for this one. Another one is what? Beginning. So the, for the boundary at the Y star, we have for this the structure. OK, for this the structure. So we now let's go on. So now we have for you the what? We reduce to for this one the linear equation, ODE equation. Also you the what? We have the one, two, three, four. This is the, uh, because we have the two point Y star, uh, Y zero and the Y star. Y star is the, our free, corresponding free boundary. So now we want to solve for this one because this is the both part of the region. OK, for this region, you know, we should be using just now we analysis to the bound, bound condition to fix to this one. Uh, the detailed uh, analysis, please uh, refer our the paper. So at this moment, just to mention is we first transfer our the problem four to the, the problem five to the eight. Uh, to the seven, then to the eight. This eight is we want to solve. But we want to solve for this eight. Maybe we just using the uh, graduate student, uh, not graduate, just undergraduate student knowledge, but it may not be easy. We should uh, specify spacing. Is consider what? OD equation and also get a little bit of optimization fundamental idea analysis. So now let's go ahead. We conjecture for this OD equation eight. So we conjecture for this one. Also, we know this one to the power is n1 and two. Also, one is greater than one, another is less than zero. So this is very fundamental. Now we have for this, we conjecture, conjecture for this one solution, conjecture. So we put for this solution, okay, put for this solution, first two equation, then we get the D1 and the D2. So this means is that for this first one equation, first two equation, okay, first two equation. Kind of the first two equations. So when we determine is D1 and D2, then next we use the third equation and the fourth equation. Okay, just now we have for this one. For for we have the we conjecture the what using is the D1 and D2. So we further conjecture just now with the, this function. Okay, we have the D1 and D2, D1 and D2. We put the D1 and D2 to this the nine. So we go on get what the Y expansion. Okay, but for this we are ex expansion is for here. What is y zero? We may not know. Just now is we may not know is d one d two. Now is we may not know is y zero. So how to go and solve? So we using is what last two equation determine. Last two equation that help us the third equation help us actually is we can determine the what we put for this the vy for this function to the third. Left hand and the root. then we rearrange. We arrange to get what equation eleven. Now you will see for here is the what we have the y is the we have the y star. Okay, y star. Then we go on. We using is what we should be using the. Oh, okay. So this one is from what this is from the we sold the equation reduced to the eleven. From the eleven we rearrange for this eleven function we rearrange. Okay, rearrange. We get the y zero exp expansion, but this y zero expansion is you will say this is implicit function. It does not matter. Okay, it does not matter. We at least we rearrange, not is solved the y zero. We just rearrange to get y zero expansion using for this one implicit implicit of the y zero equation. Another one, the last one, we just now using for what using for the function 10, but just now we made last condition. OK, last condition. So once we put this one, the last condition, so last equation, boundary last equation, so we get a Y star expansion. So now you understand why I mentioned just now is the real range get a Y zero, because finally I have the Y star that is the, the uh, information. So Y star also is what implicit function. OK, so then corresponding to this first implicit function. Uh, first one, we put all this the paper, then we write down. May maybe we can uh, solve this uh, implicit function, then we can solve our final the free boundary. So our review uh, say is that uh, this one does not meet the, the journal, the fundamental the requirement. 
you should redo to one. OK. Corresponding to is the review the idea we consider for this one. We set. Set is what? Delta. Delta is Y star over Y zero. So now we can change it. Just now we mentioned the two functions. OK, so for this part, we write on the delta. For this, write on delta. For this one, write on the delta. Also corresponding to this one, write on delta. So corresponding to this one, write on delta. So once we can get the delta, it's of course we can get a Y zero and a Y star. OK, so we uh, put this one to the delta. Put one this delta, so we know this delta is what? Correspond Y star is over Y zero. So we know this delta is what? Within this region, actual delta is within zero and one. Also, we know N1 and N2, all this all information. So we know also we have for this relationship. But if we want to solve for this, the delta may not easy. OK, how to solve? So now we go on. Actual analysis uh, analyzes or just now we mentioned for this is the Y zero and the Y star. So we find out is the very special sum of the involved the fact. So we first the anal analyze this one factor. We know this is the greater than zero. OK, from just we mentioned the 12. is corresponding to the fractional for this one. The part so now we know this one is that we can anal analyze for this one greater than zero. Also corresponding to the equation 12 and equation the uh, 13. So we can further go on, can reduce this one, both one to this one. This is how to reduce. Now let's mention for this one. We're using the Y star over Y zero. The right part also using for the 13 for this part over 12 for this part, for this uh, right part. So for here is what? Reduce to the delta. Then we move is what? The common factor for this one part to the left hand. For this one is what? Actually low part. So then we go on reduce. We can using just now I mentioned idea. We can reduce equation 12 and equation 13 using equation 13, the left hand part over equation 12, left hand part. Then is what? So over 12, the right part. Then we rearrange. We get for this structure. Okay, get for this structure. Once we get for this structure, we should go on. Now is what? We actually is remove what? We remove is the Y zero and the Y star. Okay? Because we cannot solve is that delta. So we want to solve the delta, seek for the delta information. So we're using the 12 and the 13 equation. Remove Y zero and the Y star information. So now is what? We just reduce the one equation, one variable. This equation is the 14. So now we just the one variable is the delta. So how to solve that also is our the very is the huge the task question. At that moment, we resend back to the journal. We say we can by numerically is solve this the delta equation. Just input to the MATLAB the program. We can the, the get for this one. So uh, the review very quickly, just in the two weeks answer us. So why you know you this the equation have the what unique solution. So you just using the MATLAB get the solution. Uh, does not meet the journal the requirement, so you should show us how to get a unique solution. So we go on, <laughs> so we go on. Then we go on. This is the for interesting. So we set just now you the what set this equation. Just now this the fourteen. This equation we actually what using the left hand is minus minus right hand. Okay, so this one we set is F delta function. So this is how to get this F delta function using is the last 14 equation, the left hand minus the right hand. Now you will get for this the new equation. If we want to solve for this new equation, F delta function get equal to the zero for this nonlinear function. OK, so we further analyze. We find out exists one the G function, G of delta, this G function. So we reduce this the tedious function to this one involved the G of delta function. This one is we write down is the 15. OK, this is not enough, not enough. We first uh, analyze what is the G function. OK, the G function exists. Information is the future is for what? The future is the G of zero is goes to infinity. G1 is what? Greater than zero. Also, we know it's the first of this information less than zero. So of course, G delta function is what? Greater than zero. That is within zero and the one between this region. 
So if we want to solve for this one, so now we finally stage is we consider edge delta function. Edge delta function using the just now we mentioned what if delta function and the GT function combined to this is the new delta new edge delta function using the f delta function also involve the g of delta function take the one of the gamma power okay one of the gamma power using for this function so then we can what reduce just now the function to the new single more single yesterday uh, structure just the edge delta function dependent on the uh, gt function now we know gt G of data function is a little bit of the information. So what edge of data function go on? So now we call responding to the beta information is the larger enough we will take. Also is such that we mean is that we take for this less than zero. So also we know it's the fundamental information for this information. So now we can consider H zero corresponding to just now we mentioned the information is goes to the ne negative infinity. H one actually is the greater than zero. Also, we consider H delta the first order. The first order finally we find out is the greater than zero. So now we have the what? Make the is what? Make the decision. G H of delta function in the, between zero and one actually exists what? Unique solution. Okay, unique H delta exists a unit unit solution. Also, we know G function the information. So we go back to what? H function is the unit solution. G function we know for this the information. So of course, actually, we have what G function what we are not equal to zero. So just what approach is the what F of the other function equal to zero. So if the other function also is a what unique solution. Now so exist one is that zero zero rate such that is what F the other zero is equal to zero. Once we get the data equal to zero, then we write down the verification theory. Verification theory next. OK, so now at least you know what? We know the data zero, data zero, the unique solution. So we can get the Y zero and the Y star. This is just now we mentioned the expansion. OK, also once we have you know what? We have the Y this information. So just now we mentioned the information. Once you get the VY this function, so you can go back to what express is the VX, the the VX the, the value function. So VX value function we also can using for this one re express. Also, we know X star for this information. Then we just know why the critical point. So we finally we can get the X this information and the re express is the VY, VX function using the VY function express is the VX function because the VY function we just solving is the ODE equation we get. Then we reversely express the VX function. OK, finally, the X function we can using for this star between is what zero and the free boundary. Actually, we using for this data. Just now we mentioned idea we get and that beyond the free boundary. Actually, we take for this payoff for this value, but take out is the positive. Just now the this positive mean is that X less than is the B equal to zero. Now is for this one. We know for X star is for what X star is greater than the B, of course. So this is a gradient, this is the free boundary. So this is a tick out. Just a notation is a positive. That this is one notation information, not is the option for this free for this one. Then is a, we know for this one. Also, we go back to is what using we know the solution uh, v y the second order. So we know this one is the gradient zero. We know this one is zero. So of course, finally we can prove. Just now beginning we mentioned that we conjecture is the Value function the second order the less than zero. Now we fully prove for this one. Also, we get x star for how to express to solve using just now we know that delta zero we can solve for this x star the value, and also we just now corresponding to this one is that if is that delta function information. Finally, we using just now we mentioned all this information rearrange all the verification the theory get for this the result. Just for this, uh, this is our first result. Second, in our the paper, we also make up is uh, consider what the no shorting the constraint. Once consider no shorting constraint, just a little bit different. Just the what? All this the function the problem is the same. Just is uh, one information in the pi greater than equal to the zero. 
just a little. Just now we mentioned the problem is what? Pi may not is always every each one element is greater than zero. Now you know we ask it what? Portfolio is every each one, pi one, pi two, pi three, maybe two pi n, every each one is greater than or equal to zero. So this is a little bit different just now we mentioned that question. So question. So originally we want to solve this the similar to for this own question. We should be using what? This cost the solution the methodology just now I mentioned my uh, paper. So now we can using is a reduce using a simple data idea. OK, so for this I said for the free boundary point, once you can solve for this information, then is once you have for this pi the solution you can once you have for this so you can determine all this one. So now first one how to solve how to express for this pi. OK, then we saw. So now we introduce a little bit of the convex analysis information. For this convex analysis information, just the one to help us is the what? Deal with the pi part. So we have for this the fundamental the quadratic the utility. This quadratic utility is the final one to the corresponding to this one. So okay. the first one we introduced the uh, one that the lemma and the, another second lemma. The second lemma is the URC. This is the sigma volatility. This is the what? Z is the pi. For this is uh, the coefficient. For this is the uh, for the drift part. For this uh, z is what z is pi. Okay, so the four go back, four go back to what for this information. Actually, mean is what how to solve for this one. Okay, so we solve for this one. Now is uh, we know we can get the once we solve just now information. So we finally we get for this one result. Also, we find that what. We find out our current. This is the a for this coefficient with our the optimal solution is the what? C bar actually is independent. This means the what? This means is our for this one. For here, actually is the, the our what is our a? Our for here a is the for this part. V is what? First odd over is the v second odd. You can. First one is the over is the what? V second odd. So you regard as this one is A. Okay, regard as this A. So that means the what? C part is independent. That means is what? Once this is independent, independent, that means is we can apply for this C the structure. Finally, that means we can get the solution of what? For this one is what? For X part, you will not change anything. Okay, just what? Change a little bit the just part. For the just part, you make up Z hat for this amount. OK, so make up Z hat this amount, not is what from is the value function in the value function V the X for this position. So it's independent for the structure. So now we know you just what change a little bit is the mu. So you can automatically direct to get what for this is the pi solution is greater than equal to zero. Using just now we mentioned for the lemma one, two, three. OK, lemma one, two, three, help us is what? Corresponding to this portfolio. OK, now we know, now we know is what? Our portfolio. Also, we constrain the portfolio using the mu is what? Mu is the rate part, OK? So this pi is what? Pi is the take the positive. So once you take what? Just now you pi the solution. OK, suppose you put this pi solution, 24 to this equation, we are reduced to what? 25. OK, once you reduce to 25, you will find out our current this question is very, very similar to just now we mentioned at the beginning of the problem four. Just a little bit of what? A little bit is different is the theta bar. The theta bar is what? will not impact all the function solving. OK, just to change the coefficient. So also for this coefficient, uh, we can using another equation to directly get. So now let's look at once we have another unconstrained and constrained the HJB equation. So it's just the water Z bar plus mu. This is what a fictitious equation, not is our constrained model. We just fictitious, we fictitiously, we have one the HJB equation and constrained. OK, so you find out this unconstrained question. What exists? What send the optimal solution? The same, the same 24. OK, so this means the what constrained HJB equation. Maybe is what we just change. Oh, so so sorry, so sorry. I don't know. Uh, maybe for this one is 
automatically. Let me just, uh, just give me just the, yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, computer is automatically is the, yeah, 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 yeah. Very quickly, very quickly. Okay, very quickly. Okay, just now is unconstrained HJB equation. We find out actually equivalent to what corresponding to just now we analysis we know equivalent to is what? Uh, sorry, this is a constrained model, constrained model. Okay, this is the original drift. This is the real data question. But uh, we can reduce to what? It's a fictitious question. The fictitious question just changes the what? Drift. Okay, but for this portfolio, without any constraint. Finally, we get a solution for this portfolio is what? Automatically is what? Okay, so now we know this is automatic positive. So this just is a change of the what? A little bit of coefficient. So once we just using a little bit of coefficient, so we go back to what? We solve for this equation, just what a ball of, just now we mentioned already solve the question. Okay, so we using just now is question what? Go back to our the, reduced to equivalent to the unconstrained problem, okay? We just change a little bit of what? Drift. So this problem is what? Different the beginning question, what? Just we introduced the fictitious drift. This drift is what? Not is mu. This fictitious uh, drift is Z bar. The Z bar is what? Just dependent on the originary is the mu and the sigma volatility and the interest rate. So. This Z bar will not dependent on the uh, value function V information. Okay, so now we can use it. Just now we already solve the theory value function again. So we can use in value function proof for this one. For the no shorting, we can get the result. Okay, no shorting get Once no shorting get the result, then is, uh, we introduce uh, a little bit of the numerical. Numerical is corresponding to for this one. Sigma and sigma transpose. Then we consider it what? is a non-negative the question. So how to get the just now we mentioned the Z bar. OK, so for the Z bar we can get. Then also we can plot the once this the X the free boundary for this the case. For an alpha maybe is insensitive to the salary insensitive to the water the sensitive factor. Maybe not cannot pick up it is so huge because once we take the alpha equal to one, so our company maybe the much more the money gift to the manager. So just the what this incentive factor the maybe selected very so small. Just the AK is the fix for the, the option for this part the insensitive. Okay, this is the benchmark, but this benchmark not a real benchmark. So maybe you can write down for this one is what is the one thousand dollar maybe is the what not one the one thousand is the one thousand one thousand. Okay, maybe you the one thousand, maybe you write down one million. Okay. The coma is the one million. K maybe also the fix. Okay, maybe the fixed salary. This is just using is the a little bit of numerical, may not the real the the salary the skill. Okay. So you're just now also corresponding to this case one, we consider it's the uh shorting is the case, the free boundary, and the value that the no shorting the free boundary for this case. Also the shorting case, the boundary. And then no shorting the boundary for this is what take for this equal to zero zero one and the corresponding to the benchmark is change. This also is a uh, change is a k for this part. The k is from is a, from the seventy five to ninety five. For other part is not change. Then is we just now compare for a little bit. Okay, so in the future work now we correspond. Just now we mentioned. Uh, did not use the show us is the random the sample pass. Uh, our future work is just now we mentioned the X power function. Just now, I, uh, maybe the beginning I talked to the Gerton is what? Maybe we introduce is the explicit the uh, utility model. We consider for this one what happened. Also, we want to introduce the consumption model. What happened? Current is the we have the another one is the finite the time horizon, but this one is the we should involve the lots of the partial different equation, the idea and the soft the uh, notation. So today, uh, finally, I actually is the, just introduce the finite case. Did not introduce is the uh, just introduce infinite case. Did not introduce the finite case. Maybe finite case. The 
we may not can just now uh, show, show you is how to solve is the free boundary is the using for this the function. This data function actually is all the reviewer push us, not the beginning we already finished. Beginning we did not already finish. Just now I talked to you, actually review you the return as the twice, then the corresponding to either review the idea, uh, review the, the push, then we just the improve our this the work. Finally, we solve get the free boundary. You know, finite for this case, for the uh, PDE this case, we should have using a lots of the numerical the tedious work. We may not can is the using analysis, maybe the very analytic, analytic almost analytically get is the free boundary for this the structure. OK, this is one. Then is for the past dependence. Currently we have another is the work with the my the colleague is the uh, Xiang Yu and uh, another one professor is the farm and another one is the so uh, Qingdeng, consider is what? Spending the maximum. Consider is for we extend our this work to is the consumption model. We consider we consider this the running cons uh, consumption take to the maxima how to compare current the uh, how to pay is the consumption for this case. Maybe involve the uh, running maxima part. Okay. Um, very, very is the Maybe today, this morning, I also the calculate for this the numerical. Uh, maybe one or two week we will return uh, our work to the journal. Um, also, is that another is corresponding to just now we mentioned the work. Also, consider is that this infinite case we consider behavior model. Uh, behavior model maybe is that we separate the two part. Uh, one is that actually means is greater than is that maybe state to the one that the state sharing the point uh, we consider one part is the behavior another below this one we consider behavior also involved the running maxima this work um, this work with is the my the colleague is the Xiang Yu and also is the my the student I think maybe the one or two months we will push this post this work on the archive at this moment we actually finally uh, organize the, the Presentation, English presentation, edited, and uh, prepare for the break. Okay. Uh, here.